Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And as you can see, there's been a few changes. I've moved all of my stuff and put it all into the refined storage system. I did end up doing it manually. So, um, because when I had tried to put, um, I did the transfer pipes from extra utilities and it was one of the it was one of the the um the, the storage drawers that was on a corner it was like in a l shape and it ended up going underneath it was hooked up to two of them instead of one by accident and it crashed my game so i had to take out extra utilities because i couldn't get in um so then i managed to get into the game um obviously the the pipe wasn't there because I'd taken out extra utilities so I could go in I could make sure that everything was okay and then I re-added extra utilities and put everything back how it was before apart from the pipe of course so I just did it all manually um the other thing I have a new I'm trying out a new texture pack it's called Velvet Dreams by Cowled Off a Cliff um I'm not sure if I like it I'm, I'm like I said I'm using at the moment everything is it's got that very smooth texture like um like Sortex or Fanva and so yeah oh god dog move from thank you I got I got um I thought no we need to make sure that OD is inside and stuff I've moved him from outside because I know he's been sitting there forever and he just goes around and does stuff and I'm thinking I should have just left him sitting outside but um but yeah so yeah I am I don't know I I don't know about it yet I like it I think I don't know we'll see let me know what you think in the comments guys if you like it don't like it think I should change it leave it you don't really care it doesn't really matter let me know Okay, so uh, that is, oh, that's our furnace because the furnace is powered. That's right. So, yeah, so all of my stuff is gone. So I've got my house back and I did the same for upstairs as well. I've moved the chair and table in the middle of the kitchen and I bought the PSI stuff, magical PSI stuff downstairs. And I've got our oak table here. You know, I still haven't worked out what you're supposed to do with this. I honestly don't know. Yeah, I didn't get around to it. Also, in between episodes, because I was looking at things and thinking, okay, what can we finish? I realised we haven't done, we haven't finished this because we had to get the fish. So I did that. It took me forever, but I finally got the fish. So now it's just to make the fish tank. And I thought we'll do that on camera. So to make the fish tank, you need panes of glass around the water bucket. We have the panes of glass, but no water bucket. Let's go get a bucket of water. Is it? Oh, it's night time now. It wasn't night time before. Is that okay? The water looks interesting. I'm still learn relearning the textures. It's gravel. Do we have any clay left in here, or did I eat up all the clay? I can't remember. I may have used up all the clay that was in here. Oh, and I did say I was going to build a bridge over this a long time ago. I don't know if I still will, but we'll see. If I remember. Okay, so we have our bucket of water. That gives us 16 fish tanks. Okay. So how does this... Let's pick a wall. Let's go over here. There's 16. No. Okay. I 
can you not build on top? Yes, you can. All right, let's try that again. So basically, it's a tank of water. Okay, it's not going to go on top. I'd have to connect it to the side. Okay. And to the side. And this side. And let's do the final side. I don't know if I can reach the top. Um, is that going to reach? I don't know if that's going to reach. Let's see. No, not reaching. Right, let's get a block. I have no block. See, now that I have my inventory system, my my inventory's empty, which is pretty cool. Um, magma slime. Wood block is fine. Right, let's have a look. Can we? All right, if we put you up here. But then how do we? Oh. Now, is this going to be one big aquarium? Oh, no, he's coming down. Oh, that is actually pretty cool. Yes, yeah, so we have fish in a big aquarium. All right, we need to put that one back in the corner then. Um, let's go up. Move the light and put that there. So we've got one big old aquarium with fish. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that mod. I've never seen that before. That is quite a, a neat little mod. All right, let's put a light back there. That is quite cool. All right, I like that. So that means that we have completed the basics tab. All right, let's uh, get a bucket of clown food and we get a loot chest. So we've completed the basics. Right, let's put our clownfish, uh, where are we? Let's put our clownfish in the aquarium. You are in, oh yeah. I like that. Right, and loot chest. We have mycelium, mushrooms, and red and brown mushrooms. That's fine, we don't really need that. Oh, it's only one mushroom. Well then, you only need one mushroom for it to proliferate all over the place. Okay, so we will be looking at extra utilities because that's got stuff like the angel ring. That is what we're going to go for, creative flight. Because once we have creative flight, then that is awesome. Then we can do a lot of the other stuff. It makes the other things a whole lot easier. So, what do we need to do? Um, all right, so last week we made the transfer nodes. There's the fluid transfer node, item transfer node, and the transfer pipes. Yes, we made those. And then next you have flat transfer nodes and flat transfer pipes. Not pipes, flat transfer nodes for items and fluids. Um, I've used those in the past. I've not had, I don't really, they're useful, but I've always found that what, I've, what, what the pack they were in, when I used them, it would crash. So I'm not going to use them. I'll make them uh, flat. I will definitely make them, but it's okay but it's not um, it's not anything I would use do we need eight of each or we need 16 yeah that's it and we get a loot chest okay so um, I'm wondering The thing is, now that we have the horrifying storage, we really have no need 
but transfer nodes yet well, at least not right now oh more mycelium and mushrooms brilliant flat transfer node I'm not sure what I could actually we could probably try using them out here so instead of having um because like for example instead of having the hopper you could have the transfer node you can have a flat transfer node you could have a, a chest directly underneath or you can have I believe a normal transfer node and a pipe so we could try that let me go get a normal one because the flat ones I've never had much success with it and I don't know if it's actually going to crash my game <laughs> Um, well, there's only one way to find out, to be honest. Alright, let's take out... You want one of you. Oh, you get back your water buckets after you put the fish in. That's quite cool. And let's take a couple of pipes. Put the flat ones back in. I'm not risking those. Not right now. I would have to try it off camera to see if it works. Alright, is this still... Anything in there? No. Okay, so we need a transfer node on the bottom and a pipe. No, nope. shift click. And then it should pull. Right, we need. Let's take. Two iron ingot. No, we'll take an iron ingot. So there should be 56. So put that in. Let's get to smelt it. And again, we could do it. Well, yeah, we don't really need this faucet actually because we don't do blocks anymore. So I could take this out. Do I have any... No, that's wood. Okay. You know what they say about a watch pot never boiling. Did that work? I know. It's gone. 56, yep. Yeah. So then the flat transfer node, theoretically, you put it, you'll put it on the bottom, you'll put the chest on top, and you can use it. But like I said, I don't know if it will crash this game. I noticed this game is quite... it crashes to certain things, so I don't want to risk it at the moment. At least not on camera. I'll try it off camera, and we'll see, you know, how it goes. And if it works, well then I'll, I'll let you guys know next week. So that is a very simple use of how you use a transfer node and um, a pipe, transfer pipe. Okay, what's the next thing? Um, all right, so now you can filter things as well. So clicking on a transfer node will open its menu to show you what block fluid is currently being transferred. Slots for upgrades and a slot for a filter. Click while holding a fil filter to edit it. Place what items you want to transfer through the node into the filter or switch it to a blacklist if you want to tell it what items not to transfer. Use buckets or fluids to set a fluid filter. After your filter is set in place, the fil place the filter in the transfer node. Pro tip, you can place filters inside of filters if you need more slots. Okay. Alright, let's see, what do we need to make a filter? Okay, so that's redstone, sticks, piece of string, and that will give you a filter, and we want a fluid filter, and that's lapis. So we have all of those. See how much easier it is with the refined storage. No more running around looking in chests. That's the, that's the best thing about it. Okay, and then we get seven more filters on top of that. So, let's have a look at it. So, 
okay so when you yeah when you right click so these are the fluids you can put in well this is the fluid filter but you would say what you want to filter and you can either whitelist it or blacklist it so whitelist it to allow it blacklist it to not allow it and then these would filter through the okay so for example if we have all right we'll use this filter take a piece of gold and a piece of iron so if we right click on the filter and we say that we allow iron but not gold right and so do you shift click the filter in no okay when you right click on the transfer node there's a slot here for the filter and if you hover over the filter in your inventory it will um, it will show you what's on it so filter one iron ingot that's the one we just did so you put that there right then we take our two blocks and put them in I oh, know so then it should let through the iron but the gold should stay in the table I mean this is all very simple and very you know very simplified version but if you had for example if we still had our um, all our drawers and stuff we could have had like a, a, a dump chest that you put everything in and then you will tell it well ingots will go here and different things will go here and you could just knock things off my table <laughs> and you do and you can you can sort things that way all right how far all right so the gold see the gold has stayed and now the iron should go through yes oh Odie you're oh you get hungry don't you oh let's find some doggy treats uh, treats super treat okay buddy sorry I forgot you get hungry no let's level up we don't want to level you up what do you eat? Do you eat like normal stuff? Um, beef? Do they eat raw beef? I don't know. Do we have to? Uh. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you're good. Right, I have to remember. That's what I need to do. I've forgotten. These are not like normal dogs where you just leave them. Right, but yeah, it's gone through. And then if you take out the filter, it should let through. Obviously, it's just going to let through anything. Okay, that's not bad. But that was the quick and dirty thing on our uh, lesson on filters. All right, what's the next thing we need to do? Because I want to be working towards the angel ring, which is we have to go speedy transfer, water power, and Wonder Woman simulator before we start going to the to the angel ring okay um, we've got that so why did it not okay oh I see we need to do this one glass cutting so we want a glass cutter okay glass cutter all right we have that and what was the other thing it wanted ender shards okay ender pearls and oh, that's an iron ender okay I'm still getting used to the the texture pack and how different things look okay so if you put an ender pearl in you can get ender nuggets but then if you put it in with the glass cutter it gives you ender shards which is interesting and that's an ender hopper 
Okay. So, you get to Ender Shards. I'm guessing that's what you... It's something that you can get. Something you need to make other things. Okay, resonating redstone crystals. Do I have any of those? I have seven. Okay, how do you... I think you just get them. What's the extra utilities manual? Let's see. Extra. Oh, we do have it. Okay. Um. Resonator? Is there no... Uh, no, that's not what we want. Okay, let's put that back in. That's not a lot of help. I think you get this from mining redstone. I think you can get you can get it from mining redstone. Let's go have a look. All right, let's the oak chest. Oh no, chest. We want that. Put that away. Oh, this needs fixing. Actually, you know what we need to do? We need to make um, obsidian. Do I have any obsidian? I have a cup. I need... I think two will give me... Two blocks of obsidian is equal to four ingots in the tinker's construct table because we need to make a pickaxe head two okay we just want a block of obsidian then All right, do we have a pickaxe head axe cast yes we do take that out that in and put in our obsidian now you can use the smeltery to make obsidian actually I didn't have to put in a block you can put in a a bucket of it's one to one so a bucket of lava and a bucket of water if you put it into the smeltery drain do I have a bucket on me or did I put them all into the I think I put them all back. Alright, let's go get a bucket. Oh no, there's one. Oh, there was one out here. Let's go get a bucket. Alright, so. Are we still? That's gone. That should have made it already. Uh, no. Did it go? Oh, oh yes. There you go. Yeah, it's filled it. Cool. Alright, so that's gone through. That's what I want. Turn that off. So, um... Alright, do we need obsidian for anything? We don't actually need obsidian for anything. But, if you... You can put in a bucket of water through the smeltery drain. And if... So I've just right-clicked on it. And when you look in the tank there will be a bucket of water and then you put a bucket of lava on top of that it will mix and it will turn into obsidian a very easy way yeah and then to get it back out uh, uh, okay I think that might you got hungry very fast 
you got hungry very fast and then to get it back out you put the bucket in the casting table right click it like you would anything else and it would fill up the bucket there you go and I believe you could probably do the same thing with the lava let's try it it's full oh they're all full right Odie you need to move from there all right the lava's in there bucket right click and it will fill this time we can see it and not have Odie pushing us so you know if you did that by accident at least you can get your stuff out and your bucket of lava Right, let's put you back in there but we have our pickaxe head and let me see what was our original pickaxe made out of uh, it's an iron pickaxe head durability is that oh the iron had a the iron has a higher durability but the obsidian has a higher mining level. Oh, I thought there was something jumping around in the house, forgetting that we have our our um, aquarium right there by the wall. Okay, we want an iron ingot. So then we can. Uh, tool forge. And now I can switch over the head. If I'd switched it over while it was still broken, then I'd have to repair it. It's kind of, it's a, a like for like. Okay, let's put our under shards. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I keep throwing things. All right, let's put our ingot cast back in there. Put our pickaxe, put the gold back in. Um, the obsidian we can put back, the filters we can put back. And I think if you want to clear a filter, you just put it in your, no, you don't put it in your inventory. How do you clear a filter? Oh, you just click on it. There you go. And now that will be clear. That can stack. Cool. Alright, put those away. Right, let's go looking for a resonating crystal thing. Alright, let's have a look what's up here. Oh, there's one. There you go. Well, that wasn't too bad. And we get redstone ore. That's fine. Mechanical miner, mechanical user, mechanical crafter. I've never used these. That will be interesting. Uh, grid power. They want to make a resonator and a manual mill. Oh, you need um, a block of coal. Okay, we don't have any of those things. All right, so we need redstone, iron, Oh, not sure what happened there. Okay, and a mechanical... Okay, we've got lag. Please don't tell me my game is going to crash, because I will not be happy. Polished stone, which is stone bricks. Do we have... Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's definitely redstone gear, which I think is redstone torches. Yeah, there's definitely a lag. I'm not liking that. And there's a manual mill. Right, if we put this outside, because I know the I know the basics of how it works. Right, let's put this up here. Oh no, I didn't need to dig down. No. Let's put that back. Uh, 
Right, you have the resonator. And that produces grid power. And I think you put you put the manual mill on top. No, I think you could put it next to it. And you would use it to because you need to make stone stone burnt, I think it is. Hold on. I should have read the, the, the thing because it will tell you what it is. Grid power, from here on, referred to as GP, is the power system used exclusively by Extra Utilities 2. It works, how, the way it works is very different from other traditional power slash energy systems like Redstone Flux, RF. GP does not require wires of any kind. It is like magic in the sense that energy will flow from generators to machines or items that need GP automatically. GP is tied to the player so you can't share it with anyone else. If you're trying to use more GP than you are generating, all of your machines will stop working. You can always look at blocks or items that generate or use GP to see how much you are producing total and how much the thing you are looking at is generating or using. Okay, with that out of the way, it's time to start generating and using GP. Craft a resonator and a manual mill. Okay, we've done that. And it wants you put some polished stone in the resonator and turn the manual mill to, con to convert it into stone burnt. Then craft the water mill so you never have to use the manual mill again. Okay, so we want, we need to make six stone burnt. I can't remember. Let me see. I don't, do you need to put it on top? I honestly can't remember. Let's have a look. No, that doesn't. Well, anyhow, we need... We put the polished stone in the system. Actually, we could put this inside the house and then we don't have to be back and forth. Because it's not going to like set anything on fire or anything like that. Alright, let's... that there and I don't think you have to put it on top but we need a uh, polished stone so put those in and it needs 8 GP oh, there you go if you can see underneath it says grid power out of 15 Power generating 15, grid power point, 2 point something, and it fluctuates. But it should be a, it sh is like as long as you keep holding it, because you hold down the right mouse button. Alright, so not generating anything now. Now it's made the stone burnt. Okay, and we need four more, four more of those. Um. Alright, you just want stone. Uh, sandstone, stone bricks. Oh, it's these we want. Not stone bricks. Alright, we want four more. We've got two already. That will give us six. So. If you just, I mean, you don't have, once you have something in your hand, it's not going to try and break it. It's just that I happen to have the pickaxe in my hand. But it's, it's working. I think as it goes up, it's how, it's like a, uh, when it gets up to eight is when it, when it finishes convert, converting the block into stone burn and then it goes on to the next one. How many have we done? I wasn't even checking. Alright, it's finished. There you go. So, what do we want? A water mill. Uh, 
And we want two redstone torches. Redstone gear, sorry. those and we have a water mill we need to make more water mills but basically if I remember correctly you oh okay I forgot this is a, it's got efficiency and goodness knows what else on it and it's just ultra fast all right Put the watermill there. We want that one, that one. Okay, so you put the watermill in the middle, and again, it will tell you how much power is being used and generated. And then okay, I'll have to put it that way. So yeah, so now it's generating four power because you need to have water flowing against it. And I think it is, it's four GP per side. Not a hundred percent on that. Okay. Um, where the water go? Okay. That's eight. That's twelve. And that's sixteen. So, that being said, if we go back inside and go to our resonator, it should say that the grid power is 16, because that's what we're producing outside. So now we no longer, if we use this as well, it should say that the grid power is, now this, the grid power is 31, because we're including the manual mill. So if we do some more stone burnt right let's do 16 more stone burnt because we're going to have to make some more water mills anyway um, if we do three more water mills and we need 18 so we need two more right so if we do six if we do 20 stone bricks to turn into so now it's using the grid power to make it and it shows you what the power drain is but it's a lot obviously it's converting it a lot no it's not so if we add the manual mill to it it should be going a lot faster Yeah, not that much faster. Well, I don't know. I mean, I've never really played, I've used this once or twice. I mean, one of the reasons why I'm doing this pack is, oh yeah, it is a lot faster. The reason why I'm doing this pack is that I'm not really brilliant at some of the mods. So it's a way for me to learn the mods. So some of these I've used and I've gotten like a basic knowledge of it, but nothing brilliant. Okay. Yeah, that when you add in the GP, it goes a lot faster. Let's take those. Let's make another mill. Uh, water mill. I thought we made, oh no, let's, all right. We need, we want to make three more. We need six more. For a minute I was like, why? Two. Well, 
Well, actually, we could put the the other water mill outside. Now, there is a more efficient way to set this up. I am not sure what it is. But I will just set them up as four separate ones like this, and then I will have to um I will have to look and see what is the most efficient way of doing it. Because I know there is a more efficient way. But don't ask me. <laughs> Because it involve, basically involves, you know, running water and such. I think the ultimate is a dragon egg mill. So like when you kill the ender dragon, you use the egg to make a mill and it gives you crazy amounts of power. Okay, so now we have 48 in our grid. And we want to make another two. And like I said, if I can find... Because I think I, I remember looking for more effective ways of doing it like more neater setups and i found one and it was saying that you could get a certain amount of gp but i couldn't get my setup to do that even though i did it in the same way so yeah this works for me i will stick with this it's a very clunky way of doing it but if it works it works and it's the most efficient at the moment because at least I'm getting 4 GP per mil. 4? No, 16. 16 GP per mil. Okay, so we've done that. Oh, and we didn't have to make more because you get 7. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, but you, you can always do power. Oh, golden lasso. Okay, it can use be used to pick up any passive mob. Just click them with the lasso in hand and they're stored in the lasso. Click on the lasso to... Click the lasso on a block to place the mob back down. Okay. How do you make the golden lasso? Gold nuggets and string. And what do you have in the middle? Nothing. Oh, an 8 XP. Okay, is that not going to... Oh, it doesn't work in this. Okay. That's not going to work in this. Because you need XP. I think it's probably going to work in a normal table. Because we have 8 XP. There you go. Thank you. And we get another golden lasso. And create a flight. Now we want an angel ring. The chicken and squid ring are cool, but let's skip to what we what we really want. Okay, did they ask us to make a chicken and squid ring? Oh, they've got a chunk loader as well. I didn't know that. Okay. Um, the angel ring provides the player with the player the player with creative flight if they are generating enough GP. You can craft different types of rings rings to give your player various wings if you desire. But for this quest, just make the basic ring as it's easy to craft into other rings. The base the extra utility two rings should now be able to be placed in one of your bauble slots. Conversion is not needed anymore. Access your bauble slots by clicking. The little circle to the top right of your player model in your inventory screen. Different rings should give you a variety of wings. Okay, so when you press E, and just above my head there, you can see baubles. You click on that, and you get extra slots. You should be able to put the angel ring in there. Now, I know you need things like a ghast and other things in the angel ring. I don't know how it's going to work in this because we don't have ghasts. Oh, you can use the ghast pets. Oh, excellent. All right, so we need a cursed lasso, which is a lasso with a drop of evil. 
Right. Because this is the, the recipe that I know. The ring of the flying squid. Okay, we haven't done that yet. But this is the recipe that I know. You need the ring of the flying squid. You need the cursed lasso. A lasso with a bat. And these things. Now, the... The ghast we don't have because we're playing on peaceful, so they're saying you can use the ghast pet. Fine. Um, the bat wing. I don't even know if I have one. Okay. Let's go back. Ghast, like the squid ring. We need diamonds. We need a chicken ring. And you need a golden lasso with a chicken. Okay, we just need the golden lasso with a chicken. Let's find a chicken. I didn't even think I would need chickens. But we're going to have creative flight by the end of this episode. Alright, can I see on my map where the chickens are? Oh, um... Alright, let's go up here a second. Alright, um, show animals. So pets, no. Mobs, obviously there's no mobs. Is that showing any? It's not showing any animals actually. Oh yes. Okay, um... That's not the bit I wanted though. Options, mini map one. All right, show. All right, we want show animals. Uh, mob display, large icons. Okay. So that's what it's doing. So we're gonna have to run around till we find a chicken. Okay, chicken, where are you? Are you up in... No, I don't... No, they don't go up in the trees, do they? I can hear it as well. Oh, there's an egg. Is that you? Ah, oh, there you are, chicken. Gotcha. So the ring of the squid needs a chicken ring. So... Oh, the golden lasso with the squid. Okay, we have that. All right, we've got the flying squid ring. We want a ghast pet, which is nether quartz, gold. We can make a ghast pet. There you go. And bat wing. Do we not have bat wings? Do we really not have any bat wings at all? All right, we're going to have to go and look for a bat and kill it. Yes. Okay, I'm back home. Um, I found the well. You know, there's a ravine behind my house, so I went down into there. I turned on the subtitles so I can see when it said bat screeches, and I went in that direction. And after killing about four bats, I found um, a bat wing. Drop of evil with a skeleton skull. Okay. Uh. Skull in the furnace, lasso, drop of evil, curse lasso, and a normal lasso, and we got our angel ring. So, got it, creative flight. So, if we go into our baubles inventory, take the angel ring and put it there, go outside, and we are flying. We have creative flight. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, then we'll have, you know, GP for days. We can fly anywhere. Oh, this is, this is brilliant. Let's land on the house. Because we can. So, on that very buoyant note, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.